10 interesting facts about Feronians in the world of Tanu. 1. There are five different subcultures of humans in the world of Tanu. The steampunk techites, the phoenix-riding Furians, the feudal Japan-inspired Ryans, the wolf-riding tribesmen, the Hizja, and the medieval Europe-inspired Feronians. Feronians are the most common of the cultures of the humans in Tanu. 2. Feronians were one of the first races created by the gods in the land of Andoria in the north of Tanu. 3. Feronians were the first culture to send out expeditions to other parts of the world and to establish colonies when they were brought into existence alongside other races and cultures. 4. Feronians have a great affinity and kinship with horses. They do not view horses as equals, but feel a great connection with them and show ceremonial respect to horses that die, similar to their own ceremonies for Feronians that pass away. 5. Gartilia is the main city, capital of the country of Gartilia, the kingdom of the Feronians. This city was destroyed in the year 1003 and has been slowly rebuilt over time. 6. Feronians possess a natural skill at jewelsmithing and can create jewelry that literally glows with beauty but does not contain any magical qualities. 7. Feronians have a prejudice against Flount, the mermaids of the world. Flount were responsible for the curse that brought destruction and ruin down upon their capital city of Gartilia. Flount also desired the jewelry of Feronian craftspeople but the Feronians do not desire their glowing beauties to end up at the bottom of the ocean. 8. The god that is worshipped by the Feronians the most is Morjan, the major god of light, goodness, and justice, followed by Yatin, the minor blue knight goddess of sacrifice and hope. 9. Feronians are less prone to work with learned or innate magic, instead focusing on power drawn from their gods. 10. An order of paladins was established 1,000 years ago called the Knights of the New Dawn, who are blessed with golden armor, weapons, and power by the two main Feronian gods to protect goodness in the world and to smite evil where they find it.